Imagine a world teeming with giant reptiles, some with thunderous stomps and razor-sharp teeth, others gliding through the skies on leathery wings. Dinosaurs have captured our imaginations for centuries, but are the images we hold in our minds truly accurate? Tyrannosaurus rex had wimpy arms. The Tyrannosaurus rex is simultaneously considered the epitome of the dinosaur's savagery and brute strength, while serving as the butt of many jokes due to his little arms, which people have always assumed to be weak. But according to scientific research, T-Rex's arms may have been only three feet long, but they were super strong. They were able to lift hundreds of pounds with ease, could most definitely beat you in arm wrestling, and could have easily torn a person's arm off and beat them over the head with it, if only they had the reach to do so. Dinosaurs dragged their tails. It's uncommon for modern animals to walk around dragging their tails, so why should it be any different for the dinosaurs? And yet, the misconception that dinosaurs are the same as the lizards of today extends to this as well, and they are still often portrayed dragging their tails when they appear anywhere in pop culture. So how do scientists know dinosaurs didn't drag their tails? Because paleontologists haven't found tail drag marks along with the thousands of dinosaur footprints discovered during their digs. Drag marks made by tails that big would have been pretty hard to miss. Dinosaurs were bad parents. The perception of dinosaurs as nothing but giant lizards has led to the misconception that they were bad parents, like monitor lizards and iguanas, who simply lay their eggs and then abandon them to save their own skin. But there is new evidence that suggests many species of dinosaurs actually cared for their young after they hatched, based on the discovery of the fossilized remains of an adult from the species Philidrosaurus, surrounded by six juveniles. These semi-aquatic dinosaurs existed during the Jurassic period, and so far, this is the oldest record of any reptile caring for its young. Other fossil records show a small, lizard-like dinosaur called the Pelicosaur had some sort of babysitting colony as multiple young were found outside of a nest area with one adult of the species. Given how rare discoveries like these are, it's hard to say how common postnatal care was among dinosaurs, but it is entirely possible that it was far more common among these prehistoric creatures than it is around modern reptiles, since only 5% of living reptile species care for their young. Dinosaurs were the first reptiles to rule the Earth. Since the dinosaurs ruled the Earth for millions of years before man, it's commonly assumed they were the first reptiles to rule the Earth. Many people even have a hard time imagining a time before the rule of the terrible lizards. But scientists have discovered the remains of a group of creatures that predated the dinosaurs by millions of years. A group they've designated the ugliest fossil reptiles. They're officially known as Pereasaurs, and according to paleontologist Michael Benton from the University of Bristol, they represent the pinnacle of the evolution of vertebrates on land before the dinosaurs. Like dinosaurs, these creatures were also chunky, with stumpy legs and armor-plated bodies to protect them against predators. They averaged about 10 feet long. Pariasaurs roamed the Earth for about 10 million years, around 252 million years ago, until a mass extinction event wiped out 90% of the creatures, leaving the door wide open for the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs terrorized mammals and other non-dinosaurs. Whenever the mighty dinosaurs go stomping through the swamps and jungles in the movies, a bunch of mammals scatter and hide from the terrible lizards. After all, the furry creature's small size would naturally make them easy targets for a rampaging dino. But despite what you see on screen and our modern perception of giant and fearsome dinosaurs, many of these beasts were actually preyed upon and picked on by mammals and other non-dinosaurs like the nightmarish Rosanandrangobe sakalavai a relative of the crocodile that would devour dinos as a group. Mammals, on the other hand, would use their small size as an advantage against the dinosaurs, slipping into a dinosaur's nest unseen and devouring their young before they could hatch, much like rats do to some alpha predators today. In fact, some scientists have theory said that mammals gobbling up dino eggs could have led to the demis of dinosaurs. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. Feel free to leave any comments or questions down below. We love hearing from you.